In this video, we are going to learn about the design procedure for the Chibashu filter. Now, let's talk about Chibashu filter design procedure. So, step number one, the first step is to calculate the analog frequencies. The first step is to calculate the analog frequencies. Okay, in this, uh, you have two methods. One is bilinear transformation, and other is impulse invariant impulse invariant response uh, or transformation. IIT, I say preferably, and this is BRT bilinear transformation, and this is impulse invariant transformation. So let's discuss the formula for bilinear transformation. So omega p this uh, represents this symbol represents analog so omega p is equals to 2 by t 2 by t tan of omega p by 2 and this omega represents the digital that will be given to you in the question paper and now omega is the same like this just in place of tan of omega p you write here omega s okay upon 2 simple formula easy to remember also now let's talk about IIR if you are given with IIT transformation so you just need to write omega p is equals to what you will write omega p by t t represents time period that will be given to you in the question paper now let's talk about omega s that is omega s by t that is digital transfer function uh, digital frequency upon time period so next uh, this completes your step one now let's talk about step number two. Now remember this: either you will, uh, they will mention you in the question you solve it by bilinear transformation. Then you have to apply these two formula. If it is mentioned IIR, IIT, impulse invariance transformation, then go with the these two formula for step number one. Let's talk about step number two. That is to calculate order of the filter. That is order of filter that is given by n. Now let's talk about n. Here n is greater than equals to. You have the formula cosh inverse. Cosh inverse. Remember this. Cosh inverse. One upon a s square minus one. Okay, divided by one upon a p square minus one. And this whole bracket raised to one by two. This whole raised to 1 by 2 you do. After that, find out cosh inverse of S upon P. Okay, omega S by P. And this completes your formula to calculate the order of the filter for the Chibashu filter. Okay, now let's talk about the step number 3. Step number 3 is to calculate unnormalized transfer function that is H of Sn. If depending on upon the value of N you, you are getting, if suppose you are getting n2 that means it is a even now let's talk about h of sn when it is even now if the value comes out to be even means this value is even right now so i will be right i will write the formula for even h of sn is equals to k is equals to 1 to n by 2 that is 2 by 2 which is 1 okay upon bk upon you will have bk sn square okay so here you will have bk upon sn square plus you will have bk sn plus ck this is your formula okay bk upon sn square plus bk sn plus ck now you have to find the value of ck the value of bk okay in order to calculate this now if your n is odd suppose n is your threes then it is odd then h of sn you go with this formula you have the formula as B not upon S n plus C not and 
here you will have this pi sine I means multiplication symbol k is equals to 1 2 n minus 1 by 2 okay n minus 1 by 2 and here you will have bk sn square plus bk sn plus ck this remains same only thing is this and this is pi symbol k is equals to 1 2 n minus 1 by 2 okay now I will tell you the formulas for the formulas you have to remember this you will get this formula okay after that you have what you have which formula is yn formula now you have to calculate the yn formula the formula goes as 1 by 2 open the bracket 1 upon e square plus 1 this raised to half plus 1 upon e the whole raised to 1 upon n okay minus this bracket as it is copy paste over here 1 upon raised to half plus 1 upon e just return it as it is and in place of 1 by n right here minus 1 by n okay so you will get y of n now your y of n is equals to c0 remember this c0 that is c0 is you can see it over here so y of n is equals to c0 now after this your formula for bk i am telling you that is 2 sine of yn 2k minus 1 pi upon 2n perfect and now you are left with ck ck formula is yn square yn square plus cos square 2k minus 1 pi upon 2n okay cos square remember this is the formula for ck so this is done now if you are calculating bk then if it is even for calculation of bk if your value is even suppose n is equals to 2 then put h of 0 is equals to 1 upon 1 plus square raised to half okay and if your uh, thing is odd if your n value that is order value is odd then you use h of 0 is equals to 1 okay when it is odd so so like this this are all the formulas you need to understand and calculate in order to get your final h of sn okay final h of sn after that after this step you need to uh, this step we have completed is step number three we have we are done now let's talk about step number four step number four uh, analog cutoff frequency that is analog cutoff analog cutoff frequency that is o, omega c is equals to omega p remember this omega c is equals to omega p we are designing Chibashu filter. So this is true for Chibashu only. Now let's talk about step number step number 5. That is calculation of H of S. That is analog transfer function H of S. How will you get H of S is equal to H of Sn? In case of low pass filter, if you are given with low pass filter, write S upon omega C. And omega C is nothing but omega P. So S upon omega P, right? After that, step number six is to design, uh, is to calculate h of z, that is digital transfer function. After calculating digital transfer function, your step number seven is to calculate the realization diagram. Okay, realization figure that is uh, there. So, like this, uh, you can design the complete some other numerical for your design of Chivashu filter. I hope you got this video and make sure to 
hit the like button if you got this video.